On January 27, 2011, an electric gondola used on the exterior of a high-rise construction at Eton Condominium in Makati collapsed. The workers had been installing glass windows on the 32nd floor. There were 11 men crowded into the gondola that had a maximum carrying capacity of 5 or 6 people. It fell 21 stories and landed on protruding metal rods. 10 construction workers died, one survived, but was hospitalized due to numerous fractures and injuries. In the investigation, the accident revealed a scandalous disregard for the safety of the workers on the part of Eaton Property Group and its subcontractors. It was also found that Eaton Property Group construction sites were not inspected by Dole. Under the Labor Standards Enforcement Framework, the policy of the Philippine government is that any corporation which employs more than 200 workers should voluntarily self-regulate its own safety standards. Dole inspectors only investigate companies that employ less than 200 workers, while large capitalist firms are entirely unregulated. Seventy-four workers were killed after a fire at Cantex Manufacturing Footwear Factory in Manila on May 13, 2015. Reports say workers were trapped after a welding-triggered explosion. The factory had about 200 workers. 150 of them were in the factory at the time of the fire. One of Cantex employees said that the windows in Cantex had grills and the fire exit was locked. That's why the victims were trapped inside and were unable to flee the burning factory. Former Labor Secretary Rosalinda Baldos claimed that the factory passed an inspection and compliance with general labor standards and occupational health and safety standards that was conducted by Dole in September 2014. The Bureau of Fire Protection reportedly also gave the factory a fire safety inspection certification. However, the fact-finding mission and context by non-government labor institutions concluded that the death of the workers in the 7R factory fire in Valenzuela resulted from violations of occupational health and safety standards committed by the management of Kentex Manufacturing Incorporated. Due to this incident, Kilusang Maya Uno and labor NGOs suggest mandatory, strict, and frequent safety inspections by the labor department of all establishments. On October 7, 2011, an incident happened at Keppel Subic Shipyard in the Philippines. According to the police, the incident occurred at the dock where a vessel named MV Tambara was being repaired. It is a 22,650-ton container ship that can carry 6,350 cars. The ramp fell on a scaffolding underneath the ramp where the workers were working. A total of six were killed and six were injured. According to the investigation, there are three vulnerabilities were seen by the workers-led fact-finding mission at the MV Tambara work area. 1. The steel cable supporting the ramp turned out to be lacking in needed strength to support the weight of the ramp. 2. According to the workers, the steel post supporting the ramp used to be four, not just one. And 3. The lack of a working hydraulic jack at the work area. Dolo recommended seven corrective measures on occupational safety and health, which the Keppel Subic Shipyard Incorporated Management should implement to avoid the recurrence of this recent mishap in the said shipyard. 